Let's now create a simple worm cycle using Moho's pin bones. Name the default vector layer worm and then create a second vector layer called ground. Now create a bone layer and name it bone. Selecting the ground layer, use the add points tool holding shift to create a ground plane. Use the paint bucket tool to fill it with the current stroke. Select the bone layer and use the add bone tool to add five pin bones just like this. Zoom in on the pin bones and then select them all. Choose the bone strength tool and adjust the strength. Drag the worm layer into the bone layer. Select the worm layer and then use the add points tool with bezier curves enabled and draw the worm shape as shown. We need this many points to create a very flexible worm shape. Drag the last point to the first point to enclose the shape. Use the transform points tool to adjust the curves. Select the bone layer and having all bones selected, use the transform bone tool to move all the bones to be even with the ground. Line up the worm shape to be even with the bones. Select the bone layer and use the transform bone tool on frame 1 to test the bone strength and the influence of the bones on the shape. If you're satisfied with the effect the bones have on the shape, undo these adjustments and move the frame slider to frame 12. Now create the worm's crawling pose. Adjust the pin bone's rotation by holding down the Alt key near the pin bone you want to rotate. Use this action to add thickness to parts of the worm. Use the time slider to check the transition between the two sets of keyframes. Copy the keyframes from frame 1, move the time slider to frame 24, and paste them there. On the bone layer, having all the bones selected, enable and place onion skins as shown, then move the whole worm so that its tail lines up with the tail of the onion skin. This will complete the entire worm cycle. Hold down the control or command keys and then drag to scale the pin bones to fatten up portions of the worm. Select all the keyframes on frame 24, right click, and then create Create a cycle with the additive property enabled. With the cursor in the timeline area, hold down the control or command key and scale the view of the frames. Hold down the Alt key and right click to create a new frame range. Zoom the view to see the entire crawling range. Then play back your animation to see it crawl across the screen in real time, noting any deformation that needs to be corrected. As the worm progresses in its additive cycle, notice the belly of the worm is dropping below the ground plane. We'll need to correct that. Select the bone layer and position the time slider on frame 12. Then begin to correct these bones. Rotating and scaling them is needed. Press play in the timeline to see your worm crawl with the corrected animation cycle. This looks much better.